and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and we're in the backyard again. <laughs> Today we're gonna do Sewing Talk Tuesday. Um, there are a lot of things happening right now that I'm gonna go over. You can hear the airplane flying, of course. They've changed the route for that, so you're gonna hear that right now. Um, I'm gonna do uh, an update on the basement so that you can see that it is moving along rather nicely and I'm super excited because it means we're just one step closer to being finished and having that awesome space. I am going to show you some things that I got over the weekend so that we can do some fun crafts in the uh, dining room. So, but I wanted to let you know that this week um, my mom is going to be having surgery on Tuesday so if you could say a little prayer I'm sorry on Wednesday so if you could say a little prayer for her I would really really appreciate that um, so hopefully they can get her fixed and she'll feel so much better so anyway that's all I'm gonna say about that um, I'll let you know how that how the outcome from that is and so right now we're just gonna jump in and I'm gonna just start showing you the items that I picked up this weekend the smoker and our table and then you come over here don't mind him and then my dragon jacks cool it and this is our yard and this is the tree that was in shock from having to be removed. But these are the stairs going down. And more pots. That's our heat lamp. That's the kids'. Since the basement's being redone, I had to move a lot of their stuff out here. But here's their picnic table. And here is their little barbecue grill, their little bubble blowers, and all their food and dishes are in that crate there. So this is what we had done. So this is what it looks like from down below. Pretty cool. And then under here is all storage. Um, and that's the kids' pools and the dogs' pool as well. Of course, you know, there's mud in there because it rained a lot. So I need to clean those out, but so don't mind that. But um, right here is their little mowers. <laughs> and um, so we need to, I need to probably just walk over and fix those. Okay. Crisis averted. Um, so there's that. So this provides a lot of under, under our deck storage. That used to be our old patio, um, before we had the deck done. So I know I talked to you about this before, but I never showed you the finished product. So it is absolutely gorgeous and we do love it. All right, here we are in the basement. We're going to do an update. No, Jax. Okay, let's start back here. So, this is where my five shelves used to be against this wall. As you can see, it's a mess still. Um, but everything is framed and it looks fantastic. So we have all of this over here is now framed as well. And we are going to be getting, they're gonna put a wall around that um, they will wrap it. We now have vents and we have canned lighting that's going in up on the ceiling. Okay, so this is my husband's office and it will also be a, like a guest bedroom down here in our basement if we ever need to do that. But you can see there's a lot of 
electrical that's going in here and over here. I'm gonna turn, so if you get motion sickness, you're gonna wanna just look away for a sec. Okay, so then, I'm gonna zoom out. So here is where my other little um, shelving units used to be. And let's see, we have more canned lighting there and there's one above me so there's a lot of that we're getting ready to go into the drywalling stage actually so this is very exciting um there's the window so now we're moving into the new space so there you go you can see that that is our sump pump that will also have its own dedicated like wall there. So little closet room so that you won't see it. Um, it's really interesting to watch them do this. So in our room, this is gonna be my office. There's canned lighting. Um, oh, sorry. This is a vent. That is for my ceiling fan. There is all kinds of stuff going on in here. <laughs> now we come back here, which is the main space. Now I don't have a light on and I'm not gonna turn one on back here because it's crazy, but you can see all of the canned lighting that's going in here. Um, the famous chair that we never got rid of. This is a drywall um, hanging gadget. <laughs> that's all I could call it. Um, so yeah, we are getting ready to go into drywall. You can see all the electrical stuff is, is hanging there, but I wanted to show you the electrical for this room because look at this. Got an electrical box there. We've got one there, one there, there. Over there there <laughs> we have electrical everywhere here and here and here <laughs> so what that means is that now I can plug all my machines in and when I want to use them I can I don't have to keep unplugging one and you know now I can actually use them all so that's pretty exciting so this is the room and I did want to show you this because you know, but they are still working in here. So um, I'm gonna show you the bathroom. So that's a brand new sub panel. That is the electrical that will run all of the electrical down here in the basement. So it got its own sub panel for electricity. So I'm really excited about that because that means that I won't blow circuits anymore when I'm using my stuff since the rest of the house is using it. <laughs> so we put this in really basically specifically for the crafting room. Um, and I am just so excited for this to finally start, I guess, looking more like a room. Um, I'm going to be doing, I think pink and white is the color that I'm gonna do my craft room in. Um, I'm so excited because like those are my favorite colors. Well, my pink and red are my favorite colors. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really super excited about this. I've never had anything like this before. And um, it's just, it's really exciting to be able to um, be blessed enough to get something like this. So. These are what I was able to pick up. Um, I got these from my local sewing store and I'm really excited to do something like these because um, I have thread that I need to use up that was sent to me by Dime. And I also picked up these little tubs the other day. I got these at, 
I need to think, where did I get these from? Oh, man. Oh, Five Below. Ooh. Almost forgot my, where I got this from. I got this at Five Below. They were $3, these little plastic white tubs. So I got three of these. This is what I'm gonna put my embroidery thread in up here, upstairs, so that I have it, but it's it's kind of organized. Because right now it's just thrown into one of the Rubbermaid crates from when we packed everything up. Um, so I need to organize that. So this is a dish towel, and this one is really cute. This is actually my mom's. She picked this one out, but it's really cute. It's got the red check, checks on it. And um, the red, red and white gingham style. Um, so there's that one. She's going to come over when she's feeling a little better, and we're going to embroider some designs on here. Got some dog hair on there. And so that one is hers. And then got this one. So this is the blue one. Not sure what we're gonna put on here yet, but we'll sit down and look at some designs and then I'm gonna teach her how to use the Brother embroidery machine because she's never used my embroidery machine before. So we're gonna play with the dream machine. And don't worry, I will get some of this on camera. Also, I love these. I just got a plain white one, um, a plain white tea towel. These are all tea towels. Should have mentioned that. But this is just a white one and it's really nice and I just I need another one for my kitchen. So I have a lot of these towels that I've made but you know they're mostly seasonal so they're like made for you know fall. <laughs> so I need to make some for summer and I have some cute little watermelon um designs and things like that that I can use and so that's what we're gonna be doing with these is making these and then I found these really cute um Kimberbell ombre towels so these are really cute tangerine and aqua is what I have here and I am really loving these. I can't wait to put a design down on here. These would be cute too if you put like a different colored um, fabric. So like if you had like say um, an orange pattern, like, you know, with oranges, the fruit, you could put that on your bottom of your towel. That would be really cute with maybe some cute little ribbon trim or even um, popsicles or watermelon over here type of fabric. So you could kind of do whatever you wanted. The sky is really the limit with these. And Kimberbell has embroidery designs and so does Creative Fabrica. That's usually where I get a lot of my designs from because I'm a member there. Um, and I have a link below in the description box um, if you want to check that out. And then also um, there's a lot of other you know, embroidery designers that have have digitized designs. So, or you could do your own. I mean, that's really up to you. So, anyway, that is what I was able to get. And so, y'all, I'm tired. I'm so exhausted right now. Um, and we are cleaning out my father-in-law's house now. Um, he passed in January. So we are finally cleaning his out because his second wife finally left. So we are finally able to move on. Um, so there's that. I've already cleaned out my own dad's house. You all knew that. I took that trip down to New Mexico to do that and then Tomorrow my mom's having surgery. So I did mention that earlier. Earlier, So if you can please keep her in your prayers, that would be great because I'm very worried about her. Um, I will be with her all day tomorrow and I will be with her the rest of the week. So she'll be staying with my sister um, just because there's so much noise and stuff going on here right now. So my sister's gonna have her at her home um, and take care of her. So I'll go over and visit with her, but I will be focusing on my mom. 
because um, we need to get her healthy. So anyway, that is what we have here. And if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.